actual sinking of the Andrea Doria. Two proud ocean liners among the finest of the ocean greyhounds, flying the Atlantic or any ocean for that matter, crashed together with thickening, grinding, and tearing the steel plate shortly after 11 o'clock last night. To the felt Stockholm prior to the Swedish-American line, 12,600 tons carrying more than 500 passengers, nearly half of them American. And the equally graceful Andrea Doria, the queen of the Italian line, a 30,000-ton vessel carrying more than 1,600 passengers, with many of them American. The collision occurred in a densely packed forest some 50 miles off Nantucket. The great mystery of the day is how this collision occurred. Both are super-modern vessels equipped not only with radar, but with every device possible for safety at sea. About 11 hours later, shortly after 10 o'clock this morning, the Andrea Doria stove in just aft of the bridge. Lifted badly from the time the night plows the Stockholm Schweitzer in his starboard side. Quietly slipped below the surface to the oily sea. By that time, scores of rescue vessels were alongside their sirens and their fog horns set up a piercing, wavering requiem of sound as the frightful ship slipped slowly to her last resting place hundreds of feet below. But the miracle of miracles had happened at the time of the collision. No one had been lost by drowning. Five were dead from injuries at the time of the crash. And all the heroic drama of man against the sea was accomplished despite the Andrea Doria's boats being useless, unable to be launched due to the lift of the vessel. More than 1,600 lives were saved by rescue craft. These are the floating unused flight boats. Shortly after the first word of the disaster was flashed from the Stockholm and the Andrea Doria, rescue craft were on the way. The Navy at Newport had two tugs and two destroyers immediately on the way. Another proud sister liner, the Queenly Ile de France, rescued 730. The Cape Ann picked up 